Hi, this is Marcus from uh, G's Glove Works. Uh, got another glove in today. Uh, we're gonna, we already got it broken down, but we're gonna do some black binding on this guy. Came in, I'll post before pictures, uh, just like the other videos. Um, we're gonna do some black binding on it. Pretty cool glove. Uh, I believe this is an 11 and a half. This is a Pro uh, S151CB, uh, 11 and a half inch. Pretty decent shape. Uh, already did some work on it initially uh, before putting on the binding. This video is for uh, Chris Rowland. He sent me this glove to work on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hook him up. Uh, so we put in some uh, new thumb loop. Uh, yep. New pinky loop. And there was a pretty sizable hole here. Uh, added a piece of three inch Laredo uh, steer hide right here and punch some holes in it. Should uh, keep it together pretty good. Overall, nice glove. Uh, still in pretty good shape. Got a lot of life left in it. There's a web. We're gonna throw some black binding on this bad boy and then uh, we'll get it started. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back. We're about to start putting the binding, the first round of the binding on there. All right, so for uh, most gloves, we start right here uh, on the pinky uh, where the heel starts. All right, so normally this would be, if you're lacing it, uh, this is where the heel lace would terminate at, is like right here. Um, so this is where I start, and most of us start the, uh, the binding. Uh, Chris Rowland sent this, this uh, binding letter. Um, I'm unfamiliar with what it is exactly he sent it and requested that I use this, so uh, customer's right, so we're gonna do that. Uh, but we start here, he asked for me to go a little bit more detail of how to do this, so you, uh, I cut this, I split these into uh, one and a half, one and a quarter runabouts uh, inch strips. Uh, and you're gonna go with the rough side skyward. I place it approximately about a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch off the edge, kind of covering the original factory stitch holes. And then I usually clamp it down with some forceps and uh, we just get it going. Okay, so we'll start right here. And we already got the machine threaded. We're going with black thread. Uh, these Pro Preferreds are stitched with white. I realize that, however, uh, black hides flaws a little bit more, so we're going to go with black thread because I am not a Rawlings seamstress. I am just a regular dude trying to fix some baseball gloves. Okay, got it in, and going okay so um we're still working on this first pass here so um we've got it on for the most part going a good length of the ways around the glove uh so there the thing i want uh, i was stopping to highlight is so when you're if you're gonna take this uh endeavor on of learning how to replace binding and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it's everybody's learning, it's always a learning process. However, when you're buying your leather or you're having somebody strip your leather, find out how long the strips are, right? So the hide that I was given for this, uh, this isn't the product that I normally use, but this is the one that the customer wanted on. So uh, you know, I'm gonna do what the customer wants me to do for the most part. Uh, they're about, uh, I wish I could zoom out, but I'm not going to. Uh, they're about three and a half foot strips, right? Well, we'll call it a three foot strip. Uh, with that comes a couple problems. Normally on a, on a glove, the seam or the binding will start. And the seam will start here, and then it'll travel all the way around the glove and come back around to start. So it's one loop of, of a strip of leather binding, right? Well, if the strip isn't long enough, you're gonna have multiple seams throughout the glove. So just keep that in mind, be, be aware of that if you're gonna take this on. So he's gonna have a seam, he's right here, and then most likely right here. So there's gonna be two seams. Uh, not a big deal, it doesn't affect play, it doesn't affect playability. It will affect appearance slightly because there'll be a seam right here. Uh, this isn't a crazy high traffic area. Uh, this isn't where I would wanna put it myself personally but you gotta work with what you got sometimes. So 
Uh, it's going to look just fine. I just wanted to highlight that. So you just be careful where you decide to start and end your scenes at because, so say you were to put it, not take it count and put it right here by the thumb or the finger pad or right here. This is a high traffic area. That's going to wear out super fast and then it's going to start uh, tearing and it's just going to start spreading on the line. So just something to think about. Um, again, you don't want to put it right here. Nakona sometimes puts their seams right here. That's a high traffic area. Unless you're going to tuck it behind a lace, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But do what you want. It's your shit. So. Okay, we're back. We uh, finished these, this pro fur, just the, uh, the binding on there. Came out pretty good. Um, this uh, binding that the, the gentleman that sent this to me, Chris Rowland, it's actually pretty decent stuff. It's, uh, I think it's calf skin. I believe that's what they do put on uh, at least the A2000s. Uh, very good, very nice looking binding. Had a couple rough spots here. I gotta cut that straight thread right there. These, uh, these turns and bends right here, always tricky. Uh, it's hard to get it tight in there. Right here as well. But looks pretty good. Nice and smooth, nice and shiny. Uh, additional work that we did was uh, we put in a new set of pinky and thumb loops as well as a pretty sizable hole right here. So we patched that up. Looks really good. Overall. Good job. Yay for me. All right, let me know what you guys think.